these. Um, they're an oral diabetic med. Um, they have a black box warning of worsening congestive heart failure. So that's very important. You, w you don't want to prescribe a TZD to a patient that already has a bad heart. You know, you're just going to mess up their heart even more. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about how I study for pharmacology in grad school. Um, this has been probably one of my most highly requested videos. Anytime I'm showing any study pictures or I'm like talking about pharmacology, just get the question everywhere on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, just everywhere. So I kind of wanted to sit down and just give you guys, kind of show you kind of like a study with me. I'm sitting at my desk right now. I'm going to show you my notes, how I study for pharmacology um, if you're new to my channel I'm currently a nurse practitioner student I'm going into my third semester of MP school um, I just completed my pharmacology one course and I'll, I'm moving on to pharmacology two next semester so um, in grad school you do have well not in grad school but in nurse in the nurse practitioner program you take two semesters of pharmacology I did very well in pharmacology now I will say it's a it's a challenging course um, it's not an easy subject, but pharmacology is one of my personal favorite subjects. And so you guys know when you like a subject, you kind of put more time and effort into studying and it kind of comes a little bit easier just because it's something that you do enjoy or you like learning about. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. I'm very science based. I love a lot of the science courses, you know, farm, patho, anatomy, like those are the type of courses that I enjoy. And so yeah i just kind of wanted to throw that out there another thing that i wanted to mention is i know a lot of you guys ask this question and you guys are in nursing school and you're taking pharmacology you know as a bachelor's degree course um so i will say there's a very huge difference between pharmacology and nursing school and pharmacology and grad school when i took pharmacology in nursing school it was it was not hard for me at all um i took it over the summer so it was kind of like an accelerated course um, and I took it online, so it was kind of like just weird. I don't know. I didn't have like I don't know. I had a different experience with my pharm pharmacology in nursing school. Um, but like I said, it wasn't hard for me. I ended up with an A in the course. And um, in nursing school, when you take pharmacology, you're learning about the drugs. You're kind of learning about what they do. And it's just different. In grad school, we're learning how to prescribe. You're learning interactions. You're learning who, what type of patients you can give these drugs to. You want to know what drug interacts with another drug because you don't want to prescribe a drug and then you know it be it have an interaction with another drug that the patient may be on. Um, you don't want to prescribe a drug that's potentially going to have a reaction to a um, condition that the patient has. So it's very, very different, like I said, learning pharmacology in nursing school and learning it in grad school. So the tips that I'm going to give are for how I'm learning it in grad school. So you, got, you guys can kind of take it and use it and apply it if you are in nursing school and you're taking pharmacology. Because at the end of the day, it's the same subject. It's just different material and it's a different level of you know it's just a higher level but it's still the same subject so all right first things first so my pharmacology so i'm an online student so everything that i learn is online so we have for pharmacology we had like the online lectures and stuff and so they would just have the lectures i would print out my slides let me actually get my slides out so i can show you guys my binder over here and this is like all the notes for the semester this past semester um, let me just pull out. First like, thing that I do is, of course, listen to the lectures. Um, I print out the stuff. I'm a very paper person. I don't like taking notes on the computer. I don't like, um, I just like to have it in paper. I like to write in colors. You guys already know I'm just a color, I'm just a color person. So I have to write my things in colors. So say I'm going through the lectures, um, you know, everything is printed out right here. If they say something important during the lecture, I'll write it down. I'll highlight if it's something that I think may be important in the test. Like a lot of things, for example, like I said, in, in as a prescriber, you want to know the black box warnings when it comes to drugs. So say, um, let's just say the TZDs and diabetic meds. I just remember this one because we just had this. I just took a test on this. So the TZDs, um, they're an oral diabetic med. Um, they have a black box warning of worsening congestive heart failure. So that's very important. You, w you don't want to prescribe a TZD to a patient that already has a bad heart. You know, you're just going to mess up their heart even more. So black box warnings are very important for prescribers because you don't want to prescribe these drugs. So whenever I would see, you know, a black box warning anywhere on here, I would always make sure to 
highlight it because it's something that could potentially potentially be on the exam so um i would always highlight things that i felt were important that's that's something that you kind of learn as you go because um you kind of learn it as you go if you think something is really important it might be on the test i'm just going to highlight it if the teacher kind of mentions it like in a higher tone of voice or something i'll highlight it because it's probably important so these are just my lecture my regular lecture notes um that's considered asynchronous material for us you just do it on your own time and then we do have live classes which is basically you know you go going to class so when i go to class you know the teachers will kind of go over the material and then if she says something important again i'll write it you know towards the side and a different color pen like i said i'm all about colors i'm very i like to color coordinate things i like to highlight things in certain colors if it's you know a side effect i'll highlight the side effects in certain colors if it's a black box warnings i'll highlight that in certain colors if it's um drug drug interactions i'll highlight those in certain colors so i'm all about you know my highlighting and my colors so that's kind of that as far as the lectures and the live classes go and just kind of how i go about preparing myself for studying and then another thing that i do is during the live sessions i kind of like to write everything down that the teacher goes over again i do color coordinate so as you can see this was my chapter on hypertension so you know i have a section here that i highlighted in a certain color when i when we were talking about the diuretics i wrote it in blue just to kind of remi remind myself like you know diuretics has to do with water and fluids so i wrote it in blue um the alpha antagonist wrote it in red um everything i wrote in different colors here <laughs> so as you can see one one of the ways that i kind of like to retain information is color coordinating so that's a tip that works for myself um another very good important tip for pharmacology is the use of mnemonics um ways to be able to memorize things now when it comes down to drugs you know you have drug classes for example the um beta blockers they all end in olol you have the um gliptins they all end in the you know the suffix um glyptin you know you have these drugs and they all kind of you have to kind of try to remember the classes that they fall under things that you can remember you associate olol with a lollipop you know things that will kind of make you remember and refresh your memory um i've mentioned this before and this is the app that i used during pharmacology this semester and it is the picmonic app like i said i mentioned it in one of my favorites videos i believe but i'll mention it again because i'm like obsessed with this app it's amazing they have everything from anatomy physiology micro um body systems pathology pharmacology psych peds like they just have everything on here of course i was using the pharmacology section of it they also have books and stuff if you're studying for you know your boards and stuff and when you do set up your account you could say whether you're a nursing student a nurse practitioner student a medical student and they kind of gear the um picmonics towards you know your discipline your specialty so of course i have my setup and under the nurse practitioner one um and yeah basically what it is it just is open open up one of my picmonics here you can make like your own playlist and stuff let's go to the cholesterol meds um let's see let's go to the gym the fibrate meds basically it'll just put up a picture as such and then um it kind of just helps you memorize things like you know here i see for example here saying that the um fibrates do have a side effect of myopathy so they have like a little mayonnaise thing kind of help you remind myopathy mayo oh i remember seeing the mayonnaise bottle in the corner so it has helped me a lot i never used anything like this in nursing school which i don't know i had been sleeping girl but this thing really really has helped me i could tell you guys straight off the back like the I got this maybe halfway through the semester and I went ahead and purchased the whole year of it because I'm taking pharmacology again next semester. Um, so it has been amazing and not only does it show the picture but it also like will give you information on here and this is very good information. A lot of this stuff is things that were in my lecture so it kind of all it kind of all just goes along they have quizzes they have everything in here so i will leave the link down below for picmonic like i said it's not sponsored or anything of that sort but if you do use the link you get 20 percent off it's kind of like a refer a friend type of thing we kind of all did it in my class um everybody referred each other the link and we were all getting 20 percent off 
So yeah, take advantage of that 20% if you guys are going into pharmacology this semester or anatomy, physiology, whatever it may be. Just purchase the, you know, four months. You don't have to buy the whole year like I did. Um, just, you know, just get what you need. But I really will recommend the app. It has been amazing, you guys. Amazing. And I'm a very visual learner, so it helped me a lot. You have to figure out what is your style of learning. Some people learn better by reading. I could tell you right now, reading is not the way I retain information. For example, say, like, you know, reading the text textbook um teachers will teachers love to assign like the whole chapters they're gonna be like read chapters 34 through 38 it's kind of like girl that's not realistic like nobody's gonna sit there and read four thick chapters and retain all the information that doesn't work for me so i don't even bother with reading the chapters um if there's something in the lectures that i kind of don't understand or um you know, I just need extra clarification on, like, for example, on this lecture, this was the nausea medications, and it wasn't very clear. It just kind of gave a vague description. So I went to that section in the book, read it, kind of took notes on paper, and kind of, you know, added extra information, the black box warnings of, you know, crazy side effects. If there's, like, a crazy side effect or a, a bad interaction, like, sometimes it'll say you give this med with this med, and um, there's an increased risk for, like, a heart attack. You want to know that because you don't want to prescribe a medication that may possibly interact with another medication that the patient is on so that's very important if you're going to be a prescriber yeah i kind of i think that's really all as far as tips go um as far as study times and how much i dedicate to studying pharmacology i will say you have to put in the time it's not something that you're going to read the lecture once and you know all of a sudden you're going to know like no i basically studied pharmacology every day even if i had things to do for another class um i was studying pharmacology every night um, for in grad school, you your um, well, in my program, um, we had tests over like four weeks of material. So, like for example, my last test was on women's health, which was all the you know birth control meds, the all that stuff. It was women's health, diabetes, which is a ton of meds, um, uh, GI meds, which is all your PPIs, your H2 blockers, um, nausea, laxatives, constipation meds. Um, you know gi stuff and then what's the other chapter obesity which this was something that i had no idea about and really i'm not you know very profound on obesity meds so it's a lot it was it was a month's worth of information on one test so i kind of had to go back and you know women's health was all the way back in week 10 so i kind of had to be studying that every day so that i didn't forget it so with pharmacology you want to just you have to you girl you got to put in the time you got to put in the time it's like i said it's not something that you're gonna study and just it's gonna stick you have to keep reading it you have to you know keep looking at your mnemonics you know you gotta make it work um so yeah i hope these tips were helpful for you like i said you could if you're in nursing school you kind of take some of these tips and apply it to the way that you're learning it another another point that i went through out there a lot of people ask me if i'm a flashcard person i am not a flashcard person i don't do very well with um flashcards i kind of like to have it all like in one in one thing i'm more of like a i don't know i just don't i i never really was a flashcard person so i don't study that way for some people it works great so like i said it kind of all comes down to you knowing what your study style is and basically what works best for you so yeah you guys that is it for this video i hope it was informative for you i hope this helps you out if you are struggling in pharmacology or you know if you just need some advice um I'll, like i said i'll leave the link down to pickmonic down below just check it out if you don't want to pay just, just do the trial at least um it's a great app i have been loving it loving it loving it so um yeah that is it for this video good luck in your classes and i will see you in the next one bye